Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Denise, this is my weekly vlog. How is everybody? Today is Monday, it's the 7th of November. I have my MOT book today. Um, it is only currently 20 past 10 um, and it's not till 2 o'clock so I've got a little while until I need to leave. Um, but in the last vlog I showed you um, a new pattern that I was gifted and I just couldn't wait. <laughs> so I've cast it on and I have cast it on in this yarn which is pink, yay, <laughs> and it is the Whitmore sweater, jumper, whatever you want to say. Um, I've got this much so far and I'm loving every second of it so so far so good. <laughs> um, it's really really the pattern's really easy to follow. Um, I'm only on row nine um, of the repeat, but I'm really enjoying it, and I think I'm gonna carry on knitting this um, this week. Uh, I know I've got other stuff to do, but I've got to do what makes me happy. And I was on the phone to my sister the other day, and I said to her, "I've started another project," but she was like, "But it's your hobby." And if you want to do that, do it. Do what makes you happy. I was like, that's very true. Uh, so yeah, I've got this much of the Whitmore sweater. <laughs> Casey said, oh, it'll keep your neck warm. <laughs> I was like, mm, yeah, <laughs> so far. Um, so I'm going to just carry on with this. It's all going to be in this colour. Um, I'm really excited for it. I can't wait. Like, this pink is just me. Um... I absolutely love it. So, plans for this week are holiday prep again. <laughs> I'm really sorry if you are really fed up with me talking about holidays. Um, but this week, so today is MOT. Ian needs to go to the breakers later as well for his car. Um, we did go to the unit yesterday. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned on Saturday a job that should have taken 20 minutes, took about four hours, and then the same happened on the other door yesterday. Uh, so it didn't take as long because Ian knew what the problem was, but it still was a bit of a pain in the bum. So he needs to go and get a new part for his car, like a replacement part. So I think we might go to the breakers after I've had my MOT. I did want to go to Primark today. Um, but we'll see, because Lakeside don't shut till 9, was it 10? 9 or 10, I can't remember now. <clears throat> um, so hopefully, we might make it there on the way back. Um, and then tomorrow, Tuesday, there was something happening Tuesday. I can't remember. So Ian was supposed to be on strike for two days this week. That strike has been cancelled. So he's at work. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so we was going to plan and, and like do most of the prep on Wednesday. Um, but now we have to do it in the evening, which is not a problem. It, it's fine. Um, I just need to make sure I've got all, all clothes that we are taking together so I can pack them. I'm going to iron them if they need ironing beforehand because there's no iron in the room. There is an iron in the hotel. Like you can get the card and use it. Um, but I think it might just be easier just to iron before we go. Um, so I have got a travel iron, but I can't be bothered. There's no ironing board in the room, so I'll put a towel on the bed. But no, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, I've never done that before. I've just ironed before we've gone, and it is what it is. Um, so over the next few days bits and pieces I'm just gonna get together I need to sort out my clothes really because I'm really worried that it's gonna be chilly in the evening and some days will be chilly so have I got enough warm clothes um, obviously I've got warm clothes for here but I don't really want to be taking jeans and joggers and stuff like that um, I'm gonna take leggings with me and a few of these tops so these are just Primark tops but they're long so they cover the front and the back <laughs> um, so your, your belly and your bum um, so yeah I'm going to probably pick up another pair of leggings while I'm in Primark um, I've got a few of these tops now so yeah boy I'm rambling on aren't I Thursday um, no 
Thursday, Ian's gonna go and get his hair cut. Thursday morning, I'm gonna go and get my nails done. Um, <coughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. These nails are driving me mad because they're so long, like for me. They're not long, like you look at them and they're not really that long, but I just can't do anything with them. And I can file them down myself, but I thought, no, I'll leave them and then I'll get them cut down when I have an infill because then it would just be done properly and all at the same time. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get, definitely get them cut down a bit. Ian said, oh no, they're, they're nice longs. Like I can't do nothing with them. Like I can, but I find, I'm finding it really difficult, um, certain things. So yeah, I'm gonna just get them cut down a bit and then uh, it'll be like three and a half weeks before I get them done again if they last that long, hopefully they will. <coughs> um, so yeah, that's that. Um, I'm going to carry on knitting on a bit more of this before I have to go for my MOT. So <coughs> I'll probably have to leave here about, I might leave here about one actually. Depending on the weather. It's starting to rain now. Yesterday, oh my goodness, the rain was horrendous. And I'm just hoping that we don't get the same rain today because my car will not cope. <laughs> um, it's not that the thing with my car is quite low to the ground. Um, so I try to avoid any puddles that I can. Um, anywhere that's a little bit flooded and stuff like that. But the floods have been really bad lately. Um, so fingers crossed. It's not going to rain that bad. And nowhere's going to flood that bad. Um, anyway, I'm going to do some more knitting. I'm going to go and make myself another drink. Today I'm using my best knitter in the world cup. <laughs> I love this cup and to be honest this cup is smaller than my other cups so it makes a nice stronger cup of coffee if that makes sense. Obviously you're not using as much water. Um, yeah I don't know. I don't know. I am also looking um, online. I got a message or an email from Bird and Blend um, to say that they got their Christmas flavours or Christmas, they had a Christmas thing going on. Um, and I'm trying to get Snowball again. Oh my God, that that drink last year oh, was the best. I have, I think, one scoop left. Um, enough to make one more cup in the little pouch because I was just eking it out as much as I could. Um, and I really just want the Snowball. I just want a tin or a pouch, maybe maybe not a pouch, a tin, because the tin will last longer, of Snowball Tea from Bird and & Blend. And I've been looking and looking and looking and it's not on the website yet, um, but I will, I will get one because that was the best. I, I was getting like the monthly subscriptions. Um, not all of them are my favourite, I must admit. I do prefer more than others. But the reason I got that was to try the different ones, to see the, the ones that I would like and stuff. And there are quite a few that I do like and quite a few that are like, hmm, yeah, I'm not really too keen. Um, but the Snowball, oh, was the best. Um, so I'm waiting for that to come back onto their website. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Oh my God, eight minutes. <laughs> um, this vlog will finish on Thursday um, and then I will start a new vlog on Friday. And then that will just be my holiday vlog. We don't fly till later on in the evening. But I thought I would just cut it. And I could edit it and get it up. Um, I did successfully edit the last vlog on my iPad. Get it onto my iPad. Like exported it. Uploaded it. All from my iPad. So yes, I'm really pleased with that. Um, I'm really happy that I can just take my iPad edit on that and I don't have to worry about taking the computer with me so yeah thumbs up for that <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go stop rambling like I keep saying and uh dip and drink coffee so turn of events my car passed MOT uh but I'm now with Casey there's Mario Kart in Primark there's loads and we're in Lakeside um so we went went to the MOT place got my car MOT'd Ian needed a part for his car in Chelmsford we went there and we've met Casey at Lakeside <laughs> look look do you want to show everyone your hat show everyone your hat Mikey oh no that's what it's do you want to show everyone your hat 
got four to five there. <laughs> you can get five to six. And Ollie's Mom, just here. Mom, you Say hello. Here. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Good morning, it's now Tuesday. I didn't really vlog much after us walking into Primark yesterday. <laughs> um, so Casey picked up some Mario clothes for the boys. Um, Mikey was so excited and Casey said it was the first time he got excited over clothes. He's going, oh look at this one, look at that one, look at this one. So she got, bought him a couple of sets. Um, and they're really cute. I bought um, five t-shirts I think. Um, a mixture of like um, vest tops and thicker vest tops, <laughs> like thicker strapped vest tops, and two t-shirts. Um, I want a pair of leggings, and a lead, a charging lead, and an umbrella. Because when I ran in there, I got soaked, it was absolutely pouring with rain. It was pouring with rain this morning, but it's blue sky now, but I've bought a small umbrella to put in my handbag. I do have an umbrella in my car, but like Ian says, that's a bit pointless if you need to get to the car first, <laughs> um, which it is, but it's a big umbrella. And if I could just have a little one that goes in my handbag, then uh, hopefully it'll be better. So today I'm going back to my sister's because she has got an emergency appointment at the dentist. She's got two fake um, and it's been on and off for a few months. Yes, I know. Uh, but she says once she takes tablets, like paracetamol or something, it, the pain will go away and then it won't come back for ages and ages. So she just didn't even think about it and now it's really playing her up. So she's got an emergency appointment this morning. I'm going to run there to look after Ollie. Mikey will be at school. Um, so yeah, I'm just drinking a coffee. Um, I'm going to drink that quite quickly, get my shoes on. I washed my trainers yesterday. <laughs> I don't know whether that was a good idea or not, because I need them to dry by Friday. Hopefully they will. We've not put in any proper heating on yet. Um, we've got that little halogen heater that we had on, or that I put on for about 10 minutes this morning just to take the chill off. Um, and I put my trainers in front of it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm hoping that they will dry. Um, if not, then... I don't know because that's what I'm going to wear. <laughs> uh, I have got other trainers but I don't want to ruin them and the ones that I wear I can wear sort of walking around and I don't mind getting dirty and stuff even though I've washed them I know but I know I can put them through the wash again or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so yeah anyway I'm going to get my other shoes on which are my Converse. I've got leggings on today. Um, my socks. I'm going to wear my knitted socks um, I've been wearing them more and more and I've been wearing them with my trainers as well because I didn't think that they would be very comfortable in trainers but they are they are quite comfortable the only thing that I don't wear them in is um, what was I not going to wear them in oh my Timberlands like my high rise boots because they are so tight anyway um, I'm going to start wearing them again, them again this year, I think. Ian bought me them, not last year, the year before, and I haven't really worn them because they're so tight and they're, they're like tight around my ankle. Um, I know I need to break them in and loosen them up and that, but they're just, it's the breaking them in that is the problem. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so anyway, I'm going to get my shoes on, drink my coffee, and then go to my sister's and uh, just keep an eye on Ollie for a little while. So I'm now at Casey's. Ollie is here. You say hello. Yeah. <laughs> he's on his iPad, he's playing um, learning games. So that's really cool. Um, I am watching YouTube. I bought my iPad with me. I'm doing some knitting. Um, Casey left about 10, 15 minutes ago. Um, but yeah, look at the game he's playing. You have to put the words in the right places. Um, is yeah. it good? Oh um, no, I'm watching monsters. Are you watching monsters? Yeah, first I did monsters. Get spilled, but can you do it? No, uh. it's not right. <laughs> no. Nope. So Mikey's at school. Um, yeah. And Ollie will be going to school later when Casey gets back. Um, hopefully she'll get a temporary fill-in or something. She's got a tooth and there's a hole. Um, it's at the back and she's hoping to get a temporary fill-in or whatever. So, um, 
yeah, Ian might need picking up from work today, so I'm gonna wait and see what happens with that because his van went in for a service. Um, so he's not sure when that will be ready. But I'm just gonna carry on knitting and carry on uh, watching YouTube. And if Casey isn't back by the time Zoom starts, I might join Zoom for a little while as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy. Just sitting here and chilling and looking after my little man. It's now the evening. It is half past ten. Just we've just gone half past ten. Um, so I stayed with Ollie until Casey came back, um, and she had a temporary filling done, but she was still quite in quite a lot of pain. Um, so we took Ollie to nursery. We went to Rumford, picked up a really nice dress in Primark. Um, it's over there. I'll show you it tomorrow if I remember. <laughs> it's like a leopard print long sleeve swingy dress. Um, I really like it. It was only £11 and I thought mm, that would look really nice with leggings or without leggings. It was like one of them dresses. Um, but I'm coming on to show you my finished September socks. Um, it's not on a blocker because the blocker's over there and I'm over here. <laughs> um, and these are finished, I have two. So yeah, I'm really pleased that these are done and um, they can go to my collection. And then the next socks that I'm going to cast on is, um, or are, like Ian just said, um, is walking past to go to bed. <laughs> um, I had this yarn here that was skeined up and I had this yarn here which is Countess of Blaze. Um, they don't dye, well she don't dye yarn anymore and this was gifted to me. Um, it's called Mad World, Gary Jewels, uh, Viscount of Spark. Um, I don't really know what that means, <laughs> if it's a reference to anything. Um, it's 75% merino, 20% nylon, 5% stellina, fingering weight sock yarn. Um, yeah, and I don't know if you'll see this. Oh, you can see the sparkles in it. It's really pretty. So the next socks that I need to do are October, Halloween, um, and I said to Ian, what do you prefer? And he just went like that. <laughs> and this one fell to the floor, and this one was still in my hand. So he said this one. This one I dyed up. Um, myself and I can't remember what I called it but yeah so it's one that I dyed up myself and I think it will probably spiral um, I don't think it will micro stripe I think it will spiral um, so I'm gonna wind this into a ball um, this yarn I'm gonna be taking away with me um, to finish knitting them and then I've got some other yarn that I want to take away as well for November socks um, and then if I have space I will take this one as well I'm not going to ball this one up yet um, it's really really lovely um, but I'm going to wind this my Whitmore I've got this much done oh my god I absolutely love it and the pattern is so easy to follow and it's very it's not difficult even though it looks quite intense it's not and, and especially because you've got all the well she tells you to put um, markers in it's just so <sighs> lovely um, I have put it on a longer cable um, but I love the colour I absolutely I absolutely love this and I think I might have to buy the cardigan pattern as well because I think a cardigan in this in maybe grey I would probably wear all the time um, I just love this pattern so yeah that is going to be worked on as well probably won't take this away with me because a lot of yarn and I don't think I'm going to work on anything too big just want little projects I was thinking as well um, of with any leftovers that I've got making some mitts like really small just 
like palm warmers really like so they come to here and there with a little thumb um, rib wristlets or whatever they're called I'm, I'm not really sure um, but like I said I'm not sure yet <laughs> um, I'm gonna get the suitcase out of the loft tomorrow the other suitcase so I can start packing my clothes um, and just see what space we've got really um, I've got a pole down there yeah we'll just have to wait and see um, got hot chocolate on the go I'm watching Suzanne from Green Lampkin Yarn and I'm gonna wind up this yarn into a ball so I shall see you tomorrow good morning it's now Thursday and um, I'm up dressed and ready I was up early because I had to ring the bank um, but yeah that's all done <laughs> um, I can't remember what I filmed yesterday I'm not sure but um, Anyway, today's Thursday. I am going to Sports Direct uh, to get some beach shoes, like you know, like the tuna wet suit shoe things. Anyway, uh, get a couple of pairs of them. Um, one for me, one for Ian. We are packed. <laughs> um, we're very near our limit, and that just means we can't bring anything back. <laughs> um, I haven't filled the hand luggage bag yet up yet so um but I don't think there's much to go in there other than electricals um so yeah I'm pretty pleased with what we've got so far so yeah I'm going to Sports Direct I'm then going to get my nails done I need these cut down so badly <laughs> um I just can't do anything with them they're so long for me anyway I don't ever have my nails this long um and I did um file my natural nails down I don't know if you can see that um, I don't like the way that it looks when you can see your own nails um, so yeah I filed them down I did get a special drill bit obviously I can do my nails myself but going away and everything I want them done properly and sometimes with my nail when I do them myself they do pop off quite easily or they will break and stuff so but I will go I will be going back to doing them myself when we get back um the next time i'll probably get them done is maybe christmas i'm not sure um anyway so that's the plan i'll show you my nails now and then you will get a look at what they look, look like afterwards um but yeah it's not raining so i'm gonna leave before it rains the retail park where sports direct is um aldi is opening today so I might have a wander around there and see what they've got. Um, not that I really need anything, but you never know. You never know. Um, today I've got a, a knitted jumper on, but it's not hand knitted. It is shop bought. It is from Pep & Co, which is part of Panland. And I absolutely love this jumper. It's got like um, different colours. So the bottom is this colour. I'm wearing a grey t-shirt as well. And grey jeans I don't wear these jeans that often because they are a little bit tight around the waist but my blue ones are the same size but I think because I don't wear these as often they're not stretched out as much so um and I'm wearing my jeans tomorrow my blue jeans tomorrow to travel in uh just because they are so comfortable and they stretch so I don't think I'll have any problems with them so and it's going to be cold when we leave and land and then we leave and land to come back. So I think jeans and trainers are the best bet. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm gonna get my handbag ready and go and get the bits that I need. It's much later on in the day. We're just about to have dinner. Um, so- Long awaited dinner. Long awaited dinner. Yes, we're both starving. Um, we've got fish and chips. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I went and got my nails done. Um, I've got my toes this color as well. Oof. They're not hoofs, they're my toes. Ha ha! Ian just dropped a chip, it did land on his plate though. Um, so, yeah, when I got my nails done, um, I, before that, went to Sports Direct. Did I explain this this morning? I can't remember. Needed beach shoes. I went to two Sports Direct, they didn't have them. So then I went to the nail shop, and then I met Ian, and then we went to Lakeside, because there's a big, massive Sports Direct there, and I managed to get them, so... We've both got a pair of beach shoes each and 
Then we went to our friend's house. Ian needed to drop something. And then we went to Ian's mum's for a little while. <laughs> now we're just about to have dinner. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go. I just thought I'd quickly come on and end this week's vlog. I'll probably get it edited tonight and tomorrow and then uploaded tomorrow and start a new one tomorrow. Um, we've just got a few last bits and pieces to pack. Um, but oh and get our money we need to get our um holiday money and i'm going to do that tomorrow morning ish um so yeah i'm really looking forward to it i'm really excited um also need to check in sorry if you can hear the telly that's a bear <laughs> um, it's a bear <laughs> so anyway i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching and i hope you look forward to the motor vlogs i will see you soon bye